Not long after, like I think only a couple of months after you did the Body the Beat thing, um, yeah, you did a, a song with um, Chillin' It on Body Bag Media. Yeah, yeah, when um, I went down there, meet up with Chill and that. Yeah, he's he's mad. Um, yeah, connected in that and um, done, um, did a couple tracks there and that. But uh, yeah, that was kind of like a brief connection really, like it was just in and out. Um, you know, um, yeah, I was just uh, at a different place, I guess. Um, cause it, cause as, as far as all that stuff goes, like, that's what I mean, man. Like, um, I kind of grew out of that kind of phase, like trying to be like, kind of like involved with everyone. I mean, you know, like if that's you, then get in. But like, you know, like, uh, I can't really, I couldn't really see myself trying to fit in where I didn't. You know, like I couldn't really see myself like just how I was saying before, you know, I had to be myself. I had to, um, I kind of needed that freedom to be me and not try and just be anyone else. And that just, that came when I, when I like started being a voice for my people and my culture and, um, yeah, I guess, uh, that's where I got it from, I guess, you know, like it was just when I was making music with, um, uh, chilling it, like when I did those songs and tracks, like, I think a lot of stuff happened in both our lives since then to just like drive the wedge in between me and chill. But, um, he's a cool dude, man. He's a mad dude, you know? I'm, Heard he's expecting a baby and that, so like, you know, big love to Chill and the 420 fam. I wish him the best, man. And I guess like, it's a very interesting time there because like, I've got that it was in like March, 2018. And you know, when I think back that early mid to doubt, like just 2018 in general, that's really where, as far as the Oz rap scope goes, things really started to change and people started to really pop off um you know body bag media was was really jumping off around then um and i'm assuming that you know through doing uh body the beat that's how you've met bagsy and then that's how you've ended up linking it with chilling it through the whole body bag media thing yeah i mean like um chill just ended up seeing some of my stuff that i wrapped you know like I uploaded videos just on Facey and this and that and like him and Husky and um, Body Bag would just, you know, would just, they seen it and they commented and shared and stuff like that. Chill told me to come down and and so we linked from there and, um, you know, but uh, really just like, I guess um, because Nerve was like right there, like not, not only just because he was right there, he's, we just got a connection, man, like at the time. Um, yeah, we just really connected me and Nerve, um, um, I guess, and from there, man, yeah, like um, built built the relationship and that, and Sunday Roast did its thing. Um, yeah. At that point of the piece, you know, because Chill's now become, you know, the, the superstar that he's become, but he wasn't at that level at that point in time, but he was bubbling. Mm. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was bubbling. Yeah. When you'd met him at that point in time, could you see that he was the dude that was going to take it to that next level? Oh yeah, man. Like you know, like I mean, yeah, bro. He had it, man. He had he had the flow. He had the you know metaphors and stuff like that. And like yeah, you can see he was born to do this shit. And um, yeah, yeah, that shit popped off, bro. Like real quick. You know, um, but yeah, as far as that, man, like, um, it's like I was saying earlier, bro, like I've done so much growing in the past years that like to even think about what, where I was at and what I was doing, like, it's just so far from what I'm doing right now, man. Like, so if I'm having trouble trying to like speak about where I was and what I was doing, like it was very much a different different thing, man, you know, I think I was even like, you know, like 
kind of like, um, yeah, just I wasn't living that life, that, that very good lifestyle, man. Like I was, what, I met my wife like over, just over three years ago, man. So just over three years ago, I just, I took a turn, you know. Um, everything before that was kind of like just, I don't know, just fucking around, man. Like, you know, um, when, I met, well, when I met my wife and like started doing, doing music how it was supposed to be done, not just trying to imitate and trying to be, you know, like influenced, trying to just like, only trying to like put my heart and my soul and like my thoughts on the track, you know, like that's when I guess everyone is kind of like, uh, yeah, at that point, man, um, I guess that's when I became who I was meant to be, you know, that's when I became JK47, not just because I spit like a weapon, but like I'm using that shit like as a weapon, you know, to fight like against that negative, the negative thoughts and the negative mindsets and like that negative shit that goes on inside because I guess that's where the real battle is like fought and won, like up here, man. And like, you know, I I don't know what, I, what I'd be doing if I couldn't like just fulfill that purpose and fulfill that like space. Like, I feel like that's all I'm meant to be doing. Like, that's all we meant to be doing as like a, you know, as artists and that like, is to just connect and like lead like that and like really just be that right voice, you know, because I, I, I found myself in need of those like, you know, in, in need of that inspiration and motivation and like um, kind of like correction so many times, you know, like just from rappers um, who went that route, but now are coming around, you know, when you listen to the OG raps, like um, you just get like, I don't know, they inform you in a different way, man, you know, like that's what I love, man. That's what I love about hip hop, man. I love being informed. I like, I love like, you know, I love like how Kendrick like, you know, contradicts himself. I love how like, you know, I love that correction that, that comes like that, that, that light that, or that switch that gets clicked when you're listening to a song and like it changes your whole different mindset and it like just drives you, you know, like I feel like, I feel like um, the, the growth into that like has changed me so much that who I was beforehand, like, I don't even like, I don't even connect with anymore, you know what I mean? Like I was trying to, um, even though chill like and that, like they're, they're dope, man. Like, and everyone's, everyone's doing it their own way. Like me saying this, me saying everything that I'm saying right now is just my truth. It's just my thing, how I'm, how I'm doing it. Because I guess it's different. Um, when you got a son, man, like, that shit changes. Like, if you speak in that, then you gotta walk it too. Otherwise, the shit ain't adding up. That's half the reason why, like, you know, I guess people don't speak it. Because we're humans and we make mistakes and we might, might not be able to walk it. But like, you know, like, I feel like I gotta speak that. I gotta speak that empowerment. I gotta, I gotta give that empowerment to these kids. And, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta make my aunties and uncles proud of me, you know, like, and like, you know, like, the old people that have passed on and, you know, my nan and pop and my dad, like, you know, I gotta, I gotta show that I'm still, I gotta show them I'm still doing the right thing, you know, they taught me to do the right thing. And yeah, that's, that's really all I'm trying to do. That's, that's all I'm trying to be about. The, 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 the lesson. Oh yeah.